homesteaders. Uh, welcome to a beautiful day on Harvest Moon Homestead here in Indiana. Uh, we had a cold front come through with a bunch of rain, which we really needed the rain bad for our gardens. And some cooler and less humid air came in, so it's going to be a beautiful four or five days they're calling for. Uh, today we want to give, uh, it's time for that weekly homestead shout out. This week we're going to give a homestead shout out to a living Oh, up! I've got it wrong. Yeah, Living Traditions Homestead with Sarah and Kevin. Oh, here she comes. Shout out! Shout out time. I uh, want to give a shout out to them. We'd like you all to go over and visit their channel. They're really good down-to-earth people. They had a good plan when they went to start homesteading and through the process of it and where they are now. They're very level-headed. Uh, they've got some great videos over there to talk about, to show how to do things. Uh, so. You get a chance, go on over to Living Traditions Homestead, say hi to Sarah and Kevin. Um, we're going to go into the kitchen here in just a second. We're going to start working on the canning process. Everything in the garden's coming out now, so it's time to start making stuff, sauces and this and that, and dehydrate and freeze and can. So we're going to take a step on into the kitchen and start this process. Okay, we're in the outdoor kitchen right now. Um, getting the table set up for us to go ahead and start making spaghetti sauce. We're going to make spaghetti sauce today. And as I've said before, everything we grow is organic. There's no chemicals in anything. Uh, and we're going to cook it down in the uh, roasting pans. Uh, we'll put a second one up too to uh, help cook it down on. Um, the tomatoes, what we do is when we pull them out of the garden, we go ahead and freeze them so we can have a big batch of tomatoes at once to work with. Uh, well, I'm going ahead and start grinding here in a second. Amy's going to go ahead and start cutting up uh, garlic, peppers, herbs, onions, all that stuff, getting it ready to dump in. I'm going to go over and start grinding here. The fun process of going through all the tomatoes. We grind them, make sure we get all the seeds out, grind everything up to the finest pulp as we can get it. It's a long, slow process. So this is all pulp coming out on this side and what we can do with this now is lay it down on sheets in the dehydrator and dry it and then you uh, powder it and it's good to add to soups or you know use it for any kind of flavoring. Yep, get every bit of use out of everything you can. I'll probably run most of that pulp through a second time. It'll grind it down even more so I can get more, like I said, get as much out of everything as you can. Use it all up. Well, we've got the first roaster started. Uh, we're going to get the second roaster out and probably a third. I've got a lot of tomatoes still to do. Inside this one here, we've got uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar, bell peppers, yellow sweet onions, uh, red onions, basil, oregano, uh, sweet banana peppers, cayenne, and turmeric. Uh, those two spices we put in almost everything we cook. They're some of the best, healthiest spices you can use. Um, anything else you can think of we throw in there? Oregano, basil, cayenne, turmeric, salt, pepper, garlic. Oh, onion. yeah, garlic. I forgot to mention garlic. Fresh garlic's in there. Yellow banana peppers. Got that in there. Mm -hmm. So we'll let that cook down, and then we'll taste it as it cooks, and then we'll add more uh, as we go along. And we'll have part of our spaghetti sauce for the next year. As you can see, Amy's probably very thrilled <laughs> with how tidy I was with everything in here, getting the tomatoes ready. Very. He did an excellent job of making a mess. <laughs> right now I'm uh, collecting up all the, all the tomato peels and I'm just going to put them in a bag for now because I have a huge mess that's going to take me a while to clean up. And then I will get them on trays in the dehydrator and then powder them up 
and we'll have good tomato powder to add to whatever. Good, and now we'll say goodbye to the giant mess. We've got the second pot over here going. Adding all the different seasonings to it right now. Get that one going, and we've still got lots and lots of tomatoes out there in the tomato garden. This is a big old bag of pawpaws that uh, Amy went out and got off the trees are starting to be ripe now. If uh, you don't have pawpaws in your area and don't know what they are, they're a fruit that grows on a pawpaw tree and they almost taste like a banana. Uh, we've got a lot of them out here in our woods and it looks like this is going to be a very good year for them. And Amy said if anybody wants some we can send you seeds to grow some pawpaw trees. So uh, just drop us a line, make a comment if you'd like some seeds to some pawpaw trees. Well, that was it for the big giant mess that I made in there for making spaghetti sauce today. We've got two roasters slow cooking in there now. And we'll continue to cook them down and keep tasting and adding as we need until we get down to the thickness uh, that we want. Don't forget this week's big shout out, and that's out to Kevin and Sarah over at Living Traditions Homestead. Shout out! Shout out! So go over to their page, take a look at it, look at the great videos they've got over there, say hi to them. I uh, hope you've had a great day, beautiful weather, enjoy yourself, and we'll talk to you later.